sometimes after a film like Prejudice, it feels uh, almost an interruption to come out here. But of course, I'm delighted to invite up the gifted Antoine Kalpers and the luminous Madame Natalie Bai. Thank you so much. Please take a seat. Also, after a film like that, sometimes you take, need a little breathing space um, to process how it left you feeling and what you've just seen. So we're going to give you a little breathing space with a short clip, just a minute, from our friends in Poland. They've sent us a very nice clip. Nova Horizonte. We're also expecting our translator to be arriving very shortly from another Q&A, but okay. until then, I'm sure we'll get on just fine. We'll try. We'll try. <laughs> um, where to start? We have some great questions. Um, okay, this is sort of... Let's start with an easy one. Is there a specific reason you chose Austria as the desired travel destination of the young of, of uh, Cedric? Actually, there's a several different reasons for that. Um, first of all, we wanted to give a, a certain goal to the character of Cedric, something, yeah, something specific. And a journey would seem to be the, just the, the greatest idea for someone who lives uh, with, his, with, with his parents, mm. and, um, uh, and, and landscapes and so on. And uh, Austria was also interesting for us because actually we don't know much about Austria. Uh, <laughs> it's not, uh, it's not um, a priority as a, as a destination, but it's very close, so it's, it, it makes the journey possible. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, and also the culture, the folklore, and, and things like that were, were very useful for the film. No, it's, it's a marvelous <laughs> choice, and it works perfectly in the film. Um, this is another question uh, for you, Antoine. What motivated you to create this kind of a film? Is it a personal thing? Is the story comes from a personal place? Or are you fascinated by family? This is where I need the translator, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I keep it simple. Yeah, um, yeah I have a, a, a huge family, a recomposed family, and maybe it, something remains and as a questioning. And, and I wanted to talk about that. I don't know why. Maybe sometimes it's just the subject that choose you <laughs> and not you mm. choose the, the, the subject. Um, it's important for me, yes, right? And... Some, and the, the way we are different in, some, in, in, a, in a community or the feeling that you are an outsider uh, was, uh, was also um, a subject that, that 
I, I, work, I live with and I work with for yeah. a long time. And you have two outsiders, one who was married into the family from a different culture and one from deep within the family who feels he's an outsider. Uh, sorry, can you repeat this? <laughs> there, you have in, the, in the film, you have two people who are somehow more clearly outsiders. You, you're Cédric himself, yeah. who feels like an outsider, yeah. uh, but also the Asian wife of, of uh, Laurent, who was, at some point, she says, I don't really feel I belong either. Yeah, she helps the, the audience, I think, at the beginning of the film to, to, to get in this family and, and try to understand the, the links between different characters and the way this family uh, works. Uh, so she's an outsider. Maybe uh, you, you can expect that they meet and reach at a certain point, but uh, unfortunately they're not. It's, it's a beautifully complex family you've made. <laughs> can I ask you, Natalie, you've worked with Truffaut, Piala, Godard, Simon Liang, Chabrol, Spielberg, and now you're working with young filmmakers like Xavier Dolan and like Antoine. Um, is there something that draws you to these young makers and their ideas, something that excites you in particular? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I don't choice a film because the filmmaker is a, is a young filmmaker. Okay, it's it's sure. because the script, I love the script, and uh, I saw the first, the, 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 uh, Antoine's first film, short film, and I liked this film very, very much. Mm. And uh, when we talked together, and I felt that this guy he's, he's, has a lot of talent, you yeah. know, I was quite sure. And during the shooting, I, it, it, yeah, I realized he is a real, very good director. And, well, uh, you have the experience to judge real talent. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, it's, um, I, sometimes I make mistake, of course. But uh, <laughs> when you, when you, you are in the first film and you say, "Ah, oh, this, uh, this director is going to be far," he, he. He's, he's going to be a very good director. It's, it's very exciting, mm. it's very... To be part of that journey. Yeah, 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 it's great. There's a question here specifically for you, um, Natalie. What was it like to play in such an emotional film? And was, what was the most difficult part of, of the acting for you? What was the most difficult part of the film to act? Since in this here, film, you mean? Yes, it's, on my, it's one of my Twitter questions. Which, what in this film, yeah. what was the most difficult part? Was there a more difficult part? I don't think so. It's difficult to be in. I, I, it's difficult to be uh, sure that you are you are doing the, the, what the director wants, and uh, to be to, to to watch in the same direction, you know, and. Uh, to, sometimes it's happened that you have an idea of the film and you rely during the shooting that the director thinks mm. about something else and you can get lost and you don't understand. But otherwise, when the, the script is, is very well written and, and it's the, the cast is good, it's a pleasure after to, 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 to act and... and, and uh, it's, it's, I don't know, it's, it's my job. I don't <laughs> think it's difficult. Sure. <laughs> you make it look sublimely easy. Um, Antoine, your first feature film. Um, yeah. And you worked with not just one iconic actress, but Arnaud, the actor who plays the father, is a great musician from Belgium and known for his other acting roles. Um, was that something that gave you a little bit of extra stress on the first day of shooting, or were you just... Or were you more excited to have this experience and talent with you? Uh, uh, the, uh, the very beginning of the shooting, I was, I was very impressive. Uh, uh, impressed. I was yeah. very impressed by, <laughs> by, by, by and amazed by the talent. And mm. it's and suddenly it becomes you, you you realize that it's a very, you're very lucky, actually. Yeah. So the pressure goes uh, goes away, and it becomes a pleasure. <coughs> and also because 
Um, working, working like that pushed me for, uh, further in my, uh, mm. in my willings and... Took you even higher. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. When, go, when the translator... When <laughs> 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 They're going to signal me when he gets here. And he's not here yet, but I think we're doing great, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is a film that I think joins these great um, mother-son movies, classics of, I guess we could call it a genre, something like Ordinary People, something like Maman by Delon, something like um, uh, We Need to Talk About Kevin. There's these incredible mother-son films out there, and I I think Prejudice has just joined that, that array of, of great cinema. Um, as a mother, yourself, was it... I, I, I know you're, you just said, I'm an actress. <laughs> mm -hmm. But were there parts of your motherhood, your personal motherhood, that you brought into the role? The question is what? My God. The question is... Did being a mother help you in this role? I'm not the same mother in my No, life. no, no. <laughs> We're losing people here. <laughs> I am not her. <laughs> um, I don't judge. I don't, I don't judge this woman, you know. I think she's, um, she, she is like that, and she thinks that she's in, in, in the good way. She thinks she's right. She, she thinks she's, um, she's absolutely sure of herself. Mm. And um, this woman, this son is her nightmare, her cross, and she's dependent. If mm. these sons go away, she died. And it's, she's, I think she's very... I think she's very selfish. She's, she, she doesn't... She thinks she loves her son, but for me, she loves him very badly. Mm. <laughs> but it's not because she's mean or she's uh, stupid. It's her limits. Right. It's she's the place she absolutely is, yeah. sure of herself that she does well. Mm. She's doing it right. Uh, she's doing, she's yeah. doing well. And, um, but she takes the decision her husband talked to her son, promised something, but he doesn't do anything. Thank so God. Who is the best thank I Thank God know. the boy has the father. And I have some good news. We have our translator arriving. Oh, so, <laughs> Please come on. <laughs> Just come on, Robert. Yeah. Oh, no. Thank oh. you. <laughs> Please take a seat. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. Okay. Um, I have one question also here from our Twitter feed from Dino Olivier. Um, it, it's for you, Antoine. Did you diagnose Cedric's character with a, spe with a mental disorder, something specific, during the writing process? Uh, non, jamais. Uh, jamais parce que c'était contre l'idée même du film. Uh, no, uh, never at all, because it was against the, um, the idea of the film. Um, on voulait faire un film qui, uh, où on parle d'un personnage qui symbolise la différence, qui est une certaine idée de la marginalité. We want to make a film about a character that, in a way, um, symbolizes marginality. That's a, an idea of, um, of something stranger. Otherness. Uh, <laughs> et, um, Voilà, donc du coup, euh, on ne s'est pas du tout renseigné sur des, euh, auprès de psychologues ou de psychothérapeutes et de psychiatres euh, sur des maladies, etc. Euh, parce que si on avait fait un film, sur, si, on avait comment, si on avait diagnostiqué autiste euh, ou schizophrène, le film devenait un film sur l'autisme ou la schizophrénie et donc nous, nous empêchait tout ce raisonnement et ce questionnement qu'on a autour de la position qu'il occupe dans la famille. So no, so we didn't um, try to find out with psychiatrists or analysts or psychologists about uh, certain illnesses or diseases, uh, because if we had decided, okay, we'll do the, he will be an autist or a schizophrenic, uh, finally the film would have 
been a film about autism or schizophrenia, and that would have changed the role that he has in the family. This comes to another question that's just come up on Twitter. So if it's not about autism, or if it's not about the issue, what exactly is the prejudice? Prejudice. Euh, le préjudice, c'est un mot intéressant. On a pensé changer de titre plusieurs fois, mais c'est un mot intéressant parce que dans l'étymologie latine, et de même qu'en anglais, il signifie deux choses, c'est le préjugé et le préjudice. C'est un mot très intéressant. Nous avons pensé de changer le titre plusieurs fois, mais on est revenu à ça parce que le mot est très intéressant et c'est une étymologie. C'est à la même temps your, your preconception, pre, um, prejudice in the sense of preconception, and the um, pre, prejudgment, and the idea of prejudice, the harm. Et donc, euh, dans cette famille-là, ensuite, la, la possibilité de se questionner sur qui subit un préjudice, donc ça veut dire un, un tort que, que l'on... Voilà, qui, que, qui, que subit un tiers, euh, de, voilà, hein, qui soit... Et, et qui soit à la base un, un tort moral, parce que... Je, je continue ou... Oh, okay. So um, the idea in this family is to question who is suffering from a prejudice, the idea of, of some, someone doing them wrong, whether it's a moral kind of wrong or... Parce qu'à la base, le titre qui nous avait inspiré ce récit, c'était une expression en droit qui signifie un préjudice grave et difficilement réparable. Because the, the base idea for the title was uh, the phrase from um, law, in mm -hmm. law, that is the idea of suffering from um, serious or grave prejudice that is, not repair, that, that is uh, impossible to repair. Mm. And so, et donc, du coup, ça devient un préjudice qui est plus d'un ordre moral, vu qu'il ne peut pas être réparé physiquement ni matériellement, etc. So that becomes a prejudice that is of um, moral nature and that cannot be repaired in a material or physical way. So in that case, as we have experienced this part of the journey of this family's life, the part you chose to show us in your film, are they irreparable in your in, Does that tell me that you feel that the whole thing is irreparable or is there some hope? En tout cas, la fin ne nous dit pas que c'est réparable. La fin nous laisse euh, sur, euh, sur, euh, sur, un, sur une opinion. Peut-être que le spectateur aura eu le temps de se formuler euh, au fur et à mesure du film. Euh, il n'y a pas de... Je, je n'ai pas envie, moi, m'étant intéressé à chacun des personnages, ayant essayé de les comprendre chacun à tour de rôle, de vous dire quoi penser d'eux, au final. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, in the end, I'm not saying the film is not stating that it's ir ir irreparable. Uh, the idea is uh, for each spectator to form his own opinion throughout the film. Uh, I don't want to um, uh, try to uh, define or uh, understand or lead to understand each character in a specific way. Okay. Natalie, there's a question here for you. Um, simple one. Which character do you sympathize most with in the film? Quel est le caractère que le plus, je, pour lequel j'ai le plus de sympathie Oui, ou d'empathie, de sympathie. D'empathie. Le son. Hmm. <rire> Pourquoi <rire> Parce que je trouve que ce, ce garçon est intelligent, différent mais pas dérangeant, attachant. Euh, courageux et incroyablement émouvant. Because um, I feel that this boy, this, this boy is very intelligent. He's not bothersome. He, he, um, he's, he's not bothersome. He's very, uh, he's lovable. Um, he's very brave. So the, I, I guess the, here it's interesting to hear you say this because the character you played had trouble loving him, but you as an actress loved him. Like, <laughs> C'est marrant, c'est drôle, parce que le, le personnage que vous, euh, que vous jouez a du mal à l'aimer, mais vous, en tant qu'actrice, eh oui. 
Mais j'aime jouer des personnages qui sont très loin de moi. I love playing characters that are very different from myself. <laughs> of course. Um, the film was shot in one location. Did that... How did you deal with this? But did it give you things? That, was it a challenge? Were there difficulties? Was that important to you, that it was one location? Je profite pour dire bonjour à, à tous nos partenaires luxembourgeois, parce que le film a été tourné là-bas, et je sais qu'ils nous regardent pour le moment au Luxembourg. Donc bonjour tous les luxembourgeois. <laughs> so I want to take uh, the occasion to say hi uh, to all our, our partners from uh, Luxembourg, because that's where the film was shot, so I know they're uh -huh. looking at us, so hi. <laughs> Et euh, ce qui était difficile, ce n'était pas tellement euh, le huis clos, le fait d'être dans un décor unique, euh, c'était plutôt la continuité, le fait que le film se joue quasiment en temps réel et qu'il n'y ait pas d'ellipse. Donc, la partie difficile, ce n'était pas l'idée que c'est un huis clos, que tout est concentré dans un espace, c'était plus une question de continuité, parce que c'était joué en temps réel, dans un temps réel. Ok, maintenant, nous avons un surprise pour vous. Nous avons une surprise pour vous. We have tonight with us Cedric's only true friend, who will join us on stage as we finish the evening. Please, Margaret, come on. Thank you. Ah. Hello, Margaret. Ich soll euch jetzt die Grüßen aus dem schönen alten Land vom Gebirgrin Jodo Gummi her. Und ihr sollt von mir einen sauberen Jodler hören. Vom Gebirgrin Jodo Gummi her. Und ihr sollt von mir einen sauberen Jodler hören. Hola, di da 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 di hola 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 da di Wo das Wasser rauscht, wo der Gamsbock springt, wo man lustig ist und frohe Jodler singt, wo die alten Rosen blühen in frischen Grün. Ja, das ist dort, wo der Hami bin. Wo die alten Rosen blühen in frischen Grün. Ja, das ist dort, wo der Hami bin. Wo la di da la da di 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 Thank you both so much. Thank you. Thank you. That was IFFR Live once again. More tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.